Hi, Zoe. I really like when Facebook's throwing me a curveball. Uh, listen, when your child has development issues, and also, too, all you showed me was the tongue, the, the, the lip area. When your child has any issues with development, and actually, it was a really cool comment that someone had theirs done when they were 59, and they can't believe the changes. I wish it was a bit more detailed, but um, when your child's already struggling, why struggle more? We come to our food. We come over the system, I call it. We come to our food. We swing on a swing. We ride bicycles. We do all of those kind of things. When I'm when I'm typical and talking to you, I do these kind of, hi, my mommy and daddy just had a fight, but now they're not fight. Whatever. We do all those things. You do not see those things with special needs kids. They don't happen. And so to add to it, when, again, this is what I was trying to say, you guys do this, and now try and do that. Right? And now try, look at what, like, even my vision, what it does, right? Now try and do that. It's really hard. Kids don't do anything that's hard. They don't do anything that's difficult. They don't do it. You and I, we wake up, oh, her back or this, and uh, you know, we still have to be parents. We still have to go do it, right? Now, again, coming over the system, you do it. Go like this. And again, I know I'm being severe. We have when we're doing comparisons to our kids, we have to be a bit more severe because we can overcompensate. Kids can't overcompensate. They just don't do it, right? So when they're here, now you go to eat. You know, you look like grandma with the dentures. You know, now now you're going to swing. Now you're kicking. Now you ride a bicycle. It doesn't take much to throw off movements. We're meant to be a very specific way. We don't do well with even just a couple of degrees different outside inside. I could be nice and comfortable. You might be like sitting there, Michelle, it's freezing in here. Um, I remember like when we did the ABM training, we, you know, she didn't care. She's up here talking like this. Or not and we're all literally like in 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 moving blankets just on the floor because we're sitting on this cold concrete there you go for movement i just kicked my phone out so um you know again like beauty's in the eye of the beholder but so is movement so seriously if you are considering it first of all okay except for the the immediate clip it's not going to hurt you Second of all, I mean, it will hurt just that moment, but you know, you can't think the one good thing about the human body, we can't recreate pain. So that's why we keep having babies because we don't remember it the last time well enough to experience, like, you know, I can recreate an emotion. I can recreate a, a, a scenario in my head. We can't recreate pain, but it, it will be painful to do this, but it's a lot less painful the younger we are and so forth or the reaction time. Then you have to do the, the, the exercises that they give you because, yes, it can grow back, but it will grow back if you don't do the exercises, you know, and, and then go from there. But uh, I, I've done enough posts that I've tagged you in. It will affect development. But like I said, to look at her whole development, I can't just do it from a mouth video. And we can go from there and I can give you very good explanations as to what to be done. Um, but with anything, I can't stress it enough. When you change your ability to move, you have to change the body's response to movement. And that's where movement coalescing comes into play. I can't do the SPML. I can't do the tongue tie or lip tie revision. But all of a sudden now, if you're used to doing this, and now you want them to do coming over the system like a pubic bone, just because you do a revision doesn't mean, because again, a baby doesn't know how to do those things. That's the difference between habilitation and rehabilitation. So you, you were going from, from a, a proactive response and getting down, and now you have to go into a reactive response and show your child new movements to go with a new mouth. Does that make sense? So thanks, and I'll see you in a little bit.